choosing the best antibiotic, examining the battle between amoxil and cipro for bacterial infections. In the battle against bacterial infections, choosing the right antibiotic is paramount. Two popular options that frequently come up are amoxil and cipro. Both antibiotics have their unique strengths and weaknesses, making the decision-making process challenging for healthcare professionals and patients alike. In this video, we delve into the comparison between amoxil and cipro, shedding light on their efficacy, safety profiles, and common uses. Amoxil, also known as amoxicillin, belongs to the penicillin family and is widely prescribed for various bacterial infections. On the other hand, cipro, or ciprofloxacin, is a fluoroquinolone antibiotic renowned for its broad-spectrum activity against a wide range of bacteria. While both medications are effective, they differ in terms of their mechanism of action, side effects, and spectrum of coverage. By examining the battle between amoxil and cipro, we aim to provide you with the information necessary to make an informed decision based on your specific medical needs. Join us as we explore the intricacies of these antibiotics and equip you with the knowledge to choose the best antibiotic for your bacterial infection. Understanding the differences between amoxil and cipro. Amoxil and cipro are both commonly prescribed antibiotics, but they have distinct differences that need to be understood. One key difference lies in their mechanism of action. Amoxil, as a penicillin antibiotic, works by interfering with the formation of bacterial cell walls, preventing the bacteria from multiplying and eventually leading to their death. On the other hand, cipro belongs to the fluoroquinolone class of antibiotics and inhibits the activity of an enzyme called DNA gyrase, which is crucial for bacterial DNA replication. This disruption in DNA synthesis ultimately leads to the death of the bacteria. Another important aspect to consider is the spectrum of coverage of each antibiotic. Amoxil is effective against a wide range of bacteria, including gram-positive and some gram-negative strains. It is commonly used to treat respiratory tract infections, urinary tract infections, skin infections, and dental infections, among others. Cipro, on the other hand, has a broader spectrum of coverage and is effective against a larger variety of bacteria, both gram-positive and gram-negative. It is often prescribed for more serious infections, such as complicated urinary tract infections, sinus infections, and certain types of pneumonia. Effectiveness of Amoxil in Treating Bacterial Infections Amoxil has a long-established track record of effectiveness in treating bacterial infections. It is particularly effective against common respiratory tract infections, such as bronchitis and pneumonia, caused by bacteria such as Streptococcus pneumoniae and Haemophilus influenzae. It is also commonly prescribed for urinary tract infections caused by E. coli and skin infections caused by Staphylococcus aureus. The effectiveness of amoxil can vary depending on the specific bacteria causing the infection and their susceptibility to the antibiotic. It is essential to conduct a proper diagnosis and sensitivity testing to ensure that amoxil is the appropriate choice for the specific bacterial infection at hand. In some cases, resistance to amoxil may be observed, particularly in certain strains of bacteria that have acquired resistance mechanisms over time. Effectiveness of Cipro in Treating Bacterial Infections Cipro is known for its potent antibacterial activity and broad-spectrum coverage, making it a valuable tool in the fight against bacterial infections. It is highly effective against a wide range of bacteria, including both gram-positive and gram-negative strains. Cipro is commonly used to treat urinary tract infections, gastrointestinal infections, respiratory tract infections, and skin and soft tissue infections. One notable advantage of Cipro is its ability to penetrate tissues effectively, allowing it to combat infections in various parts of the body. For example, it is often prescribed for complicated urinary tract infections that involve the kidneys or prostate gland. Its broad spectrum of coverage also makes it a suitable choice for infections where the causative bacteria are unknown or when multiple bacteria are suspected. Side Effects and Safety Considerations of Amoxil Like any medication, Amoxil comes with potential side effects and safety considerations that need to be taken into account. Common side effects of amoxil include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and skin rash. These side effects are usually mild and resolve on their own. However, in rare cases, severe allergic reactions can occur, leading to symptoms such as difficulty breathing, swelling of the face or throat, and hives. It is important to seek immediate medical attention if any severe side effects are experienced. Amoxil is generally considered safe for most individuals, but there are a few precautions to keep in mind. Individuals with a known allergy to penicillin or other beta-lactam antibiotics should avoid amoxil. 
It is also important to inform your healthcare provider of any other medications you are taking, as certain drugs can interact with amoxyl and potentially cause adverse effects. Side Effects and Safety Considerations of Cipro Cipro, like any medication, carries potential side effects and safety considerations that should be considered. Common side effects of Cipro include nausea, diarrhea, dizziness, and headache. These side effects are generally mild and resolve on their own. However, more serious side effects can occur, although they are rare. These can include tendinitis or tendon rupture, particularly in older adults, as well as nerve damage or peripheral neuropathy. Cipro should be used with caution in certain populations, such as individuals with a history of tendon disorders or those who are taking corticosteroids. It is important to inform your healthcare provider of any other medications you are taking, as certain drugs can interact with Cipro and potentially increase the risk of side effects. Comparing the cost and availability of Amoxyl and Cipro Cost and availability are important factors to consider when choosing between Amoxyl and Cipro. Amoxyl is generally available in both generic and brand name formulations, making it a more affordable option for many individuals. It is widely accessible and can be obtained through most pharmacies with a valid prescription. Cipro, on the other hand, tends to be more expensive compared to Amoxyl, particularly in its brand name form. Generic versions of Cipro are available, which can help reduce costs. However, it is worth noting that the availability of Cipro may be more restricted in some regions due to concerns about antibiotic resistance and the potential for serious side effects associated with its use. Considering patient-specific factors when choosing between Amoxyl and Cipro. When deciding between Amoxyl and Cipro, it is crucial to consider patient-specific factors. These can include the severity of the infection, the location of the infection, the potential for drug interactions, and the patient's medical history. For mild to moderate infections, Amoxyl may be a suitable choice due to its effectiveness, safety profile, and affordability. However, for more serious infections or infections where the causative bacteria are unknown, Cipro's broad spectrum coverage and tissue penetration capabilities may make it a more appropriate option. It is important to consult with a healthcare professional who can evaluate your specific situation and provide personalized recommendations. They will consider factors such as your medical history, allergies, and any other medications you are currently taking. By taking into account these patient-specific factors, a healthcare professional can guide you towards the best antibiotic choice for your bacterial infection. Expert opinions and recommendations on choosing the best antibiotic. The choice between Amoxyl and Cipro can be challenging, and it is always beneficial to seek expert opinions and recommendations. Infectious disease specialists, pharmacists, and other healthcare professionals can provide valuable insights based on their experience and knowledge. They can consider factors such as local antibiotic resistance patterns, the specific bacteria causing the infection, and the patient's individual circumstances to provide tailored recommendations. It is important to communicate openly with your healthcare provider and ask questions to ensure that you have a clear understanding of the benefits and risks associated with each antibiotic. They can help weigh the pros and cons of each option, taking into account factors such as effectiveness, side effects, cost, and availability. Ultimately, their expertise can assist you in making an informed decision that maximizes the chances of successful treatment while minimizing potential risks. Conclusion Making an informed decision when choosing between Amoxyl and Cipro for bacterial infections. When it comes to choosing the best antibiotic for a bacterial infection, the decision between Amoxyl and Cipro can be challenging. Both antibiotics have their strengths and weaknesses, and the choice depends on various factors, including the type and severity of the infection, the susceptibility of the bacteria, and patient-specific considerations. Amoxyl, with its well-established efficacy and safety profile, is often a reliable choice for mild to moderate bacterial infections. It is affordable and widely accessible, making it a popular option for many individuals. On the other hand, Cipro offers a broader spectrum of coverage and tissue penetration capabilities, making it suitable for more serious infections or situations where the causative bacteria are unknown. By understanding the differences between Amoxyl and Cipro, considering patient-specific factors, and seeking expert opinions, individuals and healthcare professionals can make informed decisions when choosing the best antibiotic. It is important to weigh the benefits and risks of each option and ensure that the chosen antibiotic is appropriate for the specific bacterial infection at hand. With careful consideration and guidance, the battle against bacterial infections can be fought effectively, leading to successful outcomes and improved patient health.